We're here at H-E-L-N-L Stadium in Gehenna, Texas. Owner GM and coach Scary Clones wants his newly completed art installation to get the crowd pumped. But most are just wondering why a bunch of naked painted orcs are gyrating in the lobby. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works in deep fry at the concessions. He said, How, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Second down and a lot. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. And the MFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard game. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and six. And that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. Ah, they allowed to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. 
Apparently that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. Second down in a very lot. It's a six-yard gain. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he was stuck to him like glue. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. He's not going down. He could go all the way. That is such bullshit. This game is but Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. The defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. And that'll bring up third down and seven. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Oh, it's a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I 
wasn't talking to. Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick. He will. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, with the brutal hit! Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Yeah, it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, man, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that pass is good for about five yards. <laughs> Second down and five. Hot. of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Well. Wow. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And he booted a high-arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt! Should move him back. No, no return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Oh. Oh. And he 
catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. says who's next and with a burst of speed he finds an open oh man he just killed that guy when the play was over well if the rep didn't see it at least the mortician did he's coming out in the field now <laughs> the offense has no running backs left so this becomes a passing only offense uh, they can still run it with their QB right Rim? sure they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners <laughs> sounds like a good plan moron And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. Of course he... A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more reception. Oh, what a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, great pass block. That's just as good as a sack. No, it ain't. When you get a sack, you get to hit the QB in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. Well, that play didn't work. He'll have to rethink that. Third down and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. <laughs> Second down and long.
The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. They weren't even on the same page on that play. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said? That unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you got to pay attention. Yeah, we're all in the jungle, you know? Yeah, this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. You want to do some fun on your time? Second down in a very lot. Some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Third down and eight. Huh? Huh? I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Down like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The 20. The 10. Touchdown! Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Uh, 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 uh. Like a monkey truck. And he was stuck to him like glue. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a striptease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the offense retains possession. First down. He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Uh -oh. 
And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. He just slipped away like a... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Oh, the player's favorite. And it's first and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. He's rumbling and stumbling. He, boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He picks up ten yards on that play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joe. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the white juice at the Boot Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Second down and a lot. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to play like total shit. No arguments from me, partner. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk! Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. That ball was almost intercepted! Third down and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have looked back, my friends. Was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. And he's off to the races. And they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. He's at the feet. Good, go, all the... And never mind. <laughs> And it's first and ten. That's the 
way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. First and two. Returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. Wow, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. QB says, I don't know almost throw in her. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. He had it for a second there. Third down and ten. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And it's first and ten. That pass was good for ten yards. Second down in inches. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to play like totals. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw it. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly.
And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in. Boom! And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> <laughs> quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Uh, uh -oh. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and ten. Uh -oh. Hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's going to... Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And he plays a defense, schmuck. Third down and long. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Intercepted. Second down and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Third down and ten. That's a killer. It 
was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarter. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a sh- And that's a hell of a cheap shot. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love it. Come on, on. Get on the Get on the Get on Get on the And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's gonna be hurting. Or dead. Or worse. <laughs> Third down and the punter is warming up. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a being snags. He got hit by a car and died. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. First and ten. You can't keep it an eight yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' his mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And he did good as mother. Third and two. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown!
this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than ever. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you... Oh, man, he just knew that play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> and it's first and ten. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, nice hit. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? Oh, Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Just the Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. See what number he was? I gotta check it off my Dead Mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And that'll be second down and four. Quarterback <laughs> passes for a touchdown! Hey, hey, Grim, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Uh, this isn't the devil brick, just one of them. Oh, that don't make it any less scary. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. 
I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this cube. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. <laughs> the Hellboys come away with a big win today. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. I was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yes. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...